Yes, good morning. So today we want again to continue from where we left in our previous class of measurement using the plan that we have been given. So the plan is there. So we, in the last class we were we finished by taking off the concrete on the bases. So let's now do the reinforcement. The reinforcement to a column. Bases. From the plan we are given, we are told that the size of the column is a thousand by a thousand millimeters. It's a thousand millimeters. Then these are the assumptions that we have to make on our own. We say, assume a reinforcement bars. are spaced at 200 millimeters center to center so from the first part the second bar we have a space of 200 millimeters so it means if it's a thousand we have to give a reinforcement there then again another reinforcement there so the distance is 400 then we have to give another reinforcement so these two this four this six eight hundred then another reinforcement there so 200 400 600 800 1000 then that is along the length because the square we have one two three four five six again on the upper side has also to be six one Two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five. Because this two hundred, four hundred, six, eight, and one thousand millimeters. So on the length, it is length. We have six number, and width we have another six. So total we we'll give 6 by 6 so we'll have 36 number of bars on one column on one base but the length of the base again is also will be the same as the length of one one length of one bar will be the length of the base but we have to give allowance for the hook so say assume or allow 50 millimeters hooks of reinforcement bars reinforcement bars on both sides so it means we have to give 50 50 so on one length of one bar we have to include 100 so now new length of one bar will be now the thousand plus one hundred of the both to give us eleven hundred millimeters. So from the plan you can see we are told to use the D12 D12. So on the on the description column you have to describe as D12 reinforcement bars reinforcement bars two for uh, column bases so we have the length we have been given to be 11 this is 1.1 1.10 because bars are being measured into kilogram or in linear meter so we have say times kg it means that after getting you have to convert it into kilogram or uh, kilo, kilogram per, me, per meter but on right you are measuring it as meter so if I get the meter you have to convert by multiply the weight of one bar per, kilo, per kilogram so we have 1.10 but we have 36 number on one column you multiply by 36 again on our previous 
class we knew that we have search for number of bars then we have to give no there were six so six meaning six column 36 meaning 36 bars in one column bar the length of one bar is 1.10 then let's do again what is called the formwork we can do formwork to ditto and the formwork we are told we can use 200 by 200 so the color color let me just make it on a difference into the desk how you will look you will get it clear formwork to for column basis column basis again this is just the same this is 1000 again 1000 millimeters so for us to get the length because uh formwork is being measured into square meter so from the superficial floor method we have to open this our column then we multiply the length of one so a thousand plus a thousand plus a thousand will get it to be uh, four thousand but uh, the width from whatever we have been doing the width how was the depth the depth of the basis was 350 millimeters the depth was 350 millimeters so it will be uh, we open it will be four into one thousand for the length then with what we will with will now the 350 millimeters that we had excavated that we had excavated that will give us 4000 then this will give us 350 so we say 200 by 50 millimeters no, by 25 millimeters blue gum timber blue gum timber to provide for work two column bases then on the entry column we have 4000 that is 4.0 after opening then we have 350 that's 0.35 meters then we close so this is a formula for one column base but we need we have six number of column bases then we have to multiply by six to give us that and that our entry is complete again what can we measure again uh, see we have measured concrete to process we have measured reinforcement let's go to reinforcement to vertical columns reinforcement to vertical columns from the plan that we are given if you look at the plan you can get that the size of the column is 300 by 200 millimeters so column size column size is given as 300 millimeters by 200 millimeters and that's the column depth column size then depth of the column depth of column from the plan we have uh, it will be 1000 that will be the deepness, the deepness from the ground then uh, we have 800 again it's just, it is 800 plus the 200 for the column so the depth is 1000 
1000 millimeters deep. So after the bases, we have to include, but we have after this, we have to include the 350. 350 millimeters, the one we have excavated for the bases. The 350 millimeters, the one for the column bases, because the vertical column will have to start from the ground. The vertical column will have to start from the ground. So it means our total depth will now be 13, 50 millimeters. Yeah. So if you want to measure about the reinforcement, and let's look at the plan which bar we are told to use. The reinforcement bars we are used, we are told to use. Uh, we are told. Uh, D12. We are told the 12 So to get that main bars. We have main bar to be D12 and we have the stirrups, stirrups to be D10, D8 to be D8. So this is our size of the column, this is how this is how our, this is our column will be looking like. Uh, This is the shape of the column. This will be 1350 millimeters. This will be 200. Now this will be the 300. Then this will be the 200 millimeters. So let's get the number of stirrups. We say assume Stirrups are spaced at 200 millimeters. No, 300 millimeters. Center to center. So it means from one stirrup to another, we have a distance of 300. Then say number of stirrup will be 1350 millimeters divided by 300 millimeters. So if you divide 13.5 divided by 3, that's around 4, 4 plus, plus 1, it goes to center to center, plus 1, will be 12, 3 will go to 13, uh, 4 times, this is 4.5, plus 1, you say 6 number, 4 point is 5, 6 number, assume 6 number of stirrups for each. The length of one stirrup will be now again we use this official flow method where we have to open this our bus then we have to get the length will be 300 plus 300 plus 200 plus 200 giving us a thousand so it means the length of one stirrup will be 1000 For the main bus, we say D12 reinforcement bus, reinforcement bus to vertical columns. Then I can say uh, D8 reinforcement bus. To Dito. So, on if you look at uh, for the D12, the phone number of bus,
So we have the length is 1350. As we have written, the length will be 1.35 meters. We close. But on one column, we have four. We have four number of such. Then we have six number of columns. Six number of columns. If you come to do eight, the length of one uh, style up is 1,000 millimeters. Zero, zero, one. But in one column, we have six number of style ups. Then we have such number of columns. We have six such number of uh, columns. So six slash six, one point this, then we close that our entry as that. Then we close it. Again on the same uh, column, we can do reinforcement, not reinforcement, concrete. To ditto, concrete to vertical, vertical columns. Our length will be 300, length to be 300 millimeters. Our width will be 200 millimeters. Then our depth will now be uh, 1,350 millimeters. 1,350 millimeters. So, say, one, three, to six, or uh, reinforced, or uh, reinforced concrete, two, vertical sides, of vertical no not side to vertical columns to vertical columns uh, then length you say is uh, 0 0.30 0 0.20 0, then we have 1.35 but we have six number of uh, columns then we can say formula to ditto. Then the length again from the official flow method, length will have the same to say 200 by 25 millimeters. Uh, blue gum, blue gum timber to provide. Form up to sides of vertical columns, then close that our entry, the length will be a thousand one point zero zero as we have gotten from the previous, then the width will be one point three five. We close, but we have again six number of columns. From our next, we have CMS, we have sheet, we have C, mesh. These things we can measure together. We can also measure marble blinding. Marble blinding. Then we can also measure termite treatment. Termite treatment, all we can be grouped together. Then say, A 142 BRC BRC mesh to foundation foundation slab then again when I'm blinding say uh, 450 Marabra is always 50. 50 millimeters thick maram blinding to ditto. Then again, termite 
Three to end. Two ditto. Then again, you can do the hardcore. You say 450 millimeters thick hardcore filling to ditto. Then you can do the damp proof membrane. You can say gauge. 500 damp-proof membrane, DPM, to ditto, then you can say 150 millimeters thick or uh, 1, 2 to 4 well vibrated concrete to ditto then all these we enter the same. Then our line was 9.80. The way it was 4.0, we close. Then all of them will include the following. So this is the length of this. This is the length of this. But if you come to concrete, you have to multiply. Because concrete is in less than cubic meter, you'll have to multiply this by 150 to get the quantity of concrete. Let's go to 200 millimeters foundation walling. As the last item, foundation walling. The length will be the same. We'll have to now measure the center line. So length will be center line, which is uh, 30, 200 millimeters. Then the width, because walls is being measured into square meter, again, we'll have to give it as 1350 millimeters. So we say 200 millimeters thick machine dressed stone to Foundation, walling, complete with hoop iron. Complete with hoop iron. Then uh, it was the length was thirty point two zero, and the width was one point three five, and that will end the way. That will mark the end of the lesson.